Hello everyone and welcome to another week's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to invite people as collaborators in our week's website. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. Step number one, you are going to access your Wix backend. Now there are two ways to navigate to the right place. Option one, you are going to click settings from the left hand side column. And once you are here under settings, you are going to scroll and you are going to find the option that says role and permissions here, this one. Or you can go to the search bar, you can type role, for example, and you can click here roles and permissions. And once you come here to the screen, all you have to do is to click invite collaborators. You can invite people by their email addresses. So you are going to type, for example, the email address of the person you would like to invite to collaborate on your Wix website. And here you can either select a predefined role or you can create your own custom role. So let's talk a little bit about the roles that you can select. If you would like to invite someone who is an owner, let's say your business partner, obviously you are going to make them admin. So admin means that the person that you are going to invite has all the access the same access with the website owner, meaning that they can delete the site, they can add billing, they can add payments, they can change the domain, they can change the design, they can do everything. If you would like to invite maybe someone who's going to help you design the website and manage the website, but you don't want this person to be an owner, you don't want this person to delete your entire site or to mess up with your billing, then you can make them website manager. So website manager is the highest access you can give to someone in order to be able to control everything when it comes to design, editing, applications on your website, but without owning the website. If you want to invite someone who is only going to help you in design, then you need to choose website designer. These people will be able to edit your website, the fonts, the colors, make changes, but they will not have access to anything else. They will not have access to, let's say, applications that you attach on your website. Then we have back office manager. This is not very common, actually. So this is more to invite someone who is going to have access to your CRM, the people who message you through the website. And then we have content writer. So if you want to invite someone who is going to take care of blogs, uploading content on your website, then you can select content writer. Now, if you want to create a custom role, all you have to do is to click here, create custom role. Then you can name the role. For example, this is a test role. And here you can select, hand pick the permissions. For example, I want to invite someone who is going to let's say, be able to edit the content, going to be able to edit the site, but not able to publish the site. So I'm just going to keep this unchecked, right? So here you can go through all the different permissions that have to do with editing, publishing, managing the backend, managing the, the design, and you can handpick the ones that you would like to give them uh, access to. Now, what you can also do is to edit, for example, I'm going to invite someone as a website manager. I can click here and I can view all the permissions that they have and I can then duplicate and edit. So maybe I want to give them all the permissions of a website manager, but I don't want them to be able to publish my site. So I can duplicate these permissions. I can then edit and deselect publish site. That's it. So for those of you who have a Wix website, you want to invite your freelancers, your graphic designers, your bloggers, anyone that is going to help you with your Wix website. Remember, you need to either go to settings and find roles and permissions, or you are going to go to the search bar, type roles, select roles and permissions. Then you invite the person and you select the type of access. 
that's all thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone hi everyone